What if one of humanity's greatest monuments wasn't what we thought it was? For over 4,500 years, it has stood as a silent sentinel in the Sahara. A monument of such staggering scale and precision, it defies explanation. Two million stones, some weighing as much as 15 tons, fit together with astonishing accuracy. But what was its true purpose? Hidden chambers, secret doors, and a mysterious void deep within its core. Did the ancients harness the Earth's energy in ways we are only beginning to understand? Join us as we unlock the secrets of the Great Pyramid and challenge everything you thought you knew about the past. At the dawn of history, two and a half thousand years before Christ, an entire civilization gathered to build the greatest monuments on Earth. 13 million tons of solid rock, enough to build the city of London, were hauled across the deserts. Why? What vision drove this? What if one of humanity's greatest monuments wasn't what we thought it was. As dawn breaks over the Sahara, the first rays of sunlight strike the limestone blocks of the Great Pyramid of Giza, igniting a golden glow that has captivated observers for over 4,500 years. We embark on a journey to delve into the mysteries concealed within this ancient wonder. Constructed around 2560 BCE, the Great Pyramid stands as a monumental testament to the ingenuity and ambition of the ancient Egyptians. Traditionally believed to be the tomb of Pharaoh Khufu, its sheer scale is astounding. Over two million stone blocks, some weighing as much as 15 tons, assembled with such precision that even a credit card cannot slip between them. To put its size into perspective, the pyramid covers an area large enough to house five soccer fields. Entering the pyramid, we navigate the descending passage, a narrow corridor stretching over 100 meters, comparable to the length of a football field. This passage is less than a meter and a half high, compelling visitors to stoop as they proceed into the depths of the structure. It leads to the subterranean chamber, an unfinished room beneath the pyramid's base, roughly the size of a large two-car garage, but with a ceiling so low it feels like the earth is pressing down upon you. The rough, unadorned walls suggest either an abandoned project or a deliberate enigma left by the builders. Ascending back, we find the ascending passage, steep and confined, like climbing the aisle of a sharply tilted airplane. This corridor guides us toward the Grand Gallery, a breathtaking passageway as tall as a seven-story building and half a football field long. Walking through it feels akin to standing inside a colossal stone cathedral, the walls angling inward as if to draw your gaze upward toward the heavens. From the Grand Gallery, a horizontal passage takes us to the Queen's Chamber. This room, similar in size to a spacious master bedroom with a vaulted ceiling, holds more questions than answers. In 1993, a robotic explorer named Upuaut Saku ventured into the chamber's so-called air shafts narrow tunnels no wider than a grapefruit. The robot discovered a limestone door with copper handles, known as Gantenbrink's door. Behind it lay another door, and beyond that, uncertainty. These blocked shafts remain a source of intrigue, with some suggesting they may conceal hidden chambers or hold symbolic significance related to ancient Egyptian beliefs. Above us looms the King's Chamber, constructed entirely of granite rich in quartz crystals. The chamber is as imposing as a small banquet hall, yet eerily empty. An unadorned granite sarcophagus sits silently, devoid of inscriptions or any signs of a royal occupant. No mummy or treasure was ever found here, a fact that continues to puzzle historians and fuels speculation about the pyramid's true purpose. In 2017, using advanced muon tomography technology, 
scientists uncovered the Big Void, a hidden cavity the size of a passenger plane's fuselage nestled above the Grand Gallery. Its exact purpose remains unknown, and accessing it could risk damaging the pyramids. First-hand accounts deepen the mystery. In the early 19th century, explorer Giovanni Battista Caviglia braved the pyramids' inner passages. He described the experience as walking into the heart of an immense mystery, each stone whispering secrets of a forgotten time. His explorations, though perilous, contributed valuable insights, but also highlighted how much remains undiscovered. So, why is the Great Pyramid considered a tomb when no pharaoh's body was ever found within? Traditional archaeology points to its alignment with mortuary temples and texts that associate pyramids with the afterlife journey of the pharaohs. The pyramid complex includes elements typical of royal tombs, and other pyramids have indeed been found with burial chambers containing sarcophagi and funerary goods. Yet, some theorists propose alternative explanations. They suggest that the pyramid may have served as an astronomical observatory, a place of spiritual initiation, or even an ancient power plant. The latter theory draws fascinating parallels with the work of inventor Nikola Tesla, who was captivated by the pyramidal shape and its potential to harness and transmit energy. Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower was designed for wireless energy transmission, utilizing the Earth's natural frequencies, a concept that mirrors theories about the pyramid's function. The use of granite in the king's chamber, with its piezoelectric properties due to quartz crystals, leads some to speculate that the pyramid could generate energy through the Earth's vibrations or the flow of underground water. A natural aquifer lies beneath the pyramid. While there's no concrete evidence linking Tesla's theories directly to the Great Pyramid, the similarities are intriguing. Our journey ends where it began, at the pyramid's base, but the questions linger. What if the true purpose of the Great Pyramid was to bridge the earthly and the divine, not just in a spiritual sense, but through harnessing the very forces of nature? As the shadows lengthen over the sands, we realize that the pyramid doesn't just hold history, it challenges our understanding of it. In the words of renowned explorer Indiana Jones, archaeology is the search for fact, not truth. If it's truth you're interested in, Dr. Tyree's philosophy class is right down the hall. If you found this video captivating, don't miss our next adventure. Egyptologists discovered a labyrinth underground ancient humans could never build. Prepare to be awestruck by an ancient labyrinth hidden beneath Egypt's sands, predating even the mighty pyramids. This discovery could rewrite history as we know it. Join us as we delve into this subterranean marvel, navigating its intricate passages and unveiling hidden chambers. Explore the secrets of its construction, decipher its purpose, and uncover its connection to the enigmatic Hawara Pyramid. Experts believe this labyrinth holds clues to ancient rituals and showcases the advanced engineering prowess of a pre-pharaonic civilization. Could this be the fabled Labyrinth of Egypt? Get ready to be amazed as we unravel this ancient enigma and its profound implications for understanding the rich tapestry of Egyptian history. Click now to embark on this extraordinary journey. For people that haven't heard of the Labyrinth, it, it was one of the ancient wonders of the world. Like this was described by Herodotus and Pliny the Elder and Strabo and, and, and all these historical figures that saw it. Herodotus described it as exceeding in splendor and wonder that of the pyramids. Like this, this was a tremendous, the labyrinth was this sort of thousand room structure that was supposedly just absolutely magnificent. You could have fit all of the temples of Karnak and Luxor and all of the temples of Egypt into its footprint. That was just lost to the sands of time. It, we've never known where it is or what it is. And it would be like a, like a pyramid. It would rival the Great Pyramid, for sure, if, if we uh, were to find it. But it turns out we found it. <laughs>